Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. We're gonna discover the interior of the new Hyundai Elantra Sport. You're gonna see some minor difference between a regular Elantra and this one. Get ready, it's already started. Car Question. Let's open the door of the Elantra Sport. Well, you're gonna see that it's similar to the normal Elantra, but there's some difference starting with the seat. They are so comfortable and it will offer you a little bit more lateral support right there on the side. And also look at the stitches that you have right here, those red stitches, and you have a nice mention sport right here in the center. The address are really comfortable. And when you look also at the rest of the interior, the steering wheel, you know, with that flat bottom really makes a, a, a style of sport if you want. All race car drivers have those kind of steering wheel. When you look at the door, well, it's regular, typical in Entra. And by the way, I'm not going to spend a lot of time, guys, showing you around this car. We've done another video about the Hyundai Elantra interior. You can check that out. You've got a much complete description. And today we're going to focus more on the difference that you will find in the Elantra Sport and what's interesting up here. So you have that carbon finish. Also, when you look at that right there on the door, you're going to find everything outside. Also, it's not real carbon, it's plastic though. But once again, this plastic feels kind of cheap when it's going to be cold in winter. Well, you will feel it. When you go down there, oh, you've got those nice aluminum pedals. You've got also that Elantra mentioned right here, which is kind of nice. And you've got manual adjustment of your seat. You can raise the height of your seat. And it's also the same thing for the passenger. Usually you don't have that. The, the seat is kind of short though. You don't have long spaces for your leg. And if you want to adjust it, well, it's manual back here again. Same thing also for your gas cap and your hood down there. Let's take place inside. Once again, it feels not bad in those seats. It's really comfortable. It's kind of sport. That's what I like right now. So you don't just have a logo on the car. You really have something interesting when you choose, besides also just an engine. So right now with that nice manual transmission, six speed, and also look at the design, also give you real a good feeling. And look how short it is to change the gear, put it into reverse, just like that. That's what I like. So let's go for a start. Whoop, start of the car. Yes, I was holding my clutch. Why not go for some revs? Let's put it into neutral. That's what I like, those red needles right here. Listen to the sound, guys. Oh, popcorn. So as you can see, 260 kilometers per hour. Yeah, not sure about that, but hey, it really feels different when you're riding with that nice Hyundai Elantra right now. I also love the display right here in the center. When you look a little bit on your left, you've still got that carbon finish look and you will have also blind spot monitoring in your, in your mirror, which is kind of cool. So if there's a car hiding, Nice steering wheel, heated steering wheels. I really love the finish. Look at that, that little red, uh, red uh, addition right here. Those nice stitches also inside the steering wheel gives you that little sporty look. Um, right here in the center, everything you need for uh, your information about your car, but there's no performance display. You know, the horse power, the torque, uh, let's say the turbo pressure. It would have been cool to get a little plus though, because we're in a sport version. Same finish, also the carbon plastic finish on the side right here. And right here in the center, yes, you can see the problem right now with that glossy look. Still, that, that system is really cool and easy to use so when you press on radio it's going to get there when you select your media right now my phone is plugged in it's because you have the possibility to use apple carplay and android auto as you can see the reaction is really fast even if i don't have any gps right here in the car when i go into my phone i can simply select the map application and have you seen the reaction it's fast it's easy it's really, really quick. So you can close the display, turn it on, get it into setup, select your phone option, and also select the radio. The radio is not too bad, 
but it's not the most performant one out there. I would have loved to have something a little bit better. Not too bad for the sound. Let's go back. Not Summerland. Oh, may we haul? Yes. Not bad for the sound, but when you push a little bit too more, too much the bass, you get those distortions. So once again, I prefer the Infinity system in the Yandy that you can have. But still, it's going to be okay. Remember that we want more sport performance. So quick, easy access to that screen. And by the way, when you're going to put your car into reverse, this is what you're going to get. You know, that rear view camera. Uh, good detail. Okay for not backing it into uh, nothing when you're going to do your reverse maneuver. Temperature, not dual climate zone. Only single AC speed. Really easy to use. Simple, big button, even, you, even if you got some glove. I really love what I'm seeing right now. Nothing complicated, easy, simple. That's what I like. When you're gonna look out there, down there, whoops, sorry guys, with the with that um, tunnel, and you can see the 12 volt outlets, the USB cable, auxiliary, and the key is really simple. But one thing that you have to be careful with this famous key of Yandi, if you put it in your pocket, you see that little, you know, that little thing right there, if you push. When, when over time it's going to get easier and easier to push and this will separate your key from the holder so if you lose that it's going to be big money for you so you've got your heated seat way down there with the steering wheel also that's going to be able to enable it it's fast for the seat they take a little bit of time you know to a uh, warm up cup holders handle brake a little bit short though if you like to do some handle brake with your performance car and you've got also your glove box right here Nice finish. Halogen lights for the inside. I was not sure about that. And you've got also your uh, your place to put your glasses. And yes, this is interesting. You got your little lights that you can turn on or off. So this is the interior of the famous Hyundai Elantra Sport. I kind of like it. It's not that bad. Let's go see the rear. So in the rear of the car, Usually sports car. Well, I'm kind of surprised you got enough space in the rear. This is my regular seating position, but the only thing that I dislike, yes, this plastic, I don't like. It's gonna get scratches really fast. Could have put something right there, some storage base or some USB connectors. And by the way, right there in that central part, uh, you've got a USB connector also hiding. So the seat won't fall down from here but you have this little section with the cup holders that you can use. So you don't have anything that you can pull uh, to make the seat go move forward. Same finishes also here in the door. You've got no heated seat in the back of this one. Let's go open the trunk. This is where you're gonna be able to pull and move your seat forward. And you've got also your section down here. Kind of big trunk for a sports car. Even if you have kids, you're going to be able to use your car and still enjoy driving it and still have an impressive fuel economy. So there you go for the trunk. Let's go in the hood. So if you want to open the hood, you need to go there, down there and pull this handle. And my assistant will help me to open that section. So you've got that TGDI turbo engine, 1.6 liter. It's gonna be good for 201 horsepower. The oil is right there to check. You will have the possibility to add some right here. Also the washer fluid, easy access. A little bit of finish, I think that it could have done a little bit better. But right here, you've got your alternator, easy access to change it over time. Same thing for the hair filter. And yes, there's a publicity for Shell right here in the hood compartment. Nice and big battery, seems well finished. You've got your suspension, which is hidden right there. But hey, this car will impress you with its suspension, its driving. So there you go. This was the interior of that car.
So there you go guys, it was the hint here of the new Hyundai Elantra Sport. How do you like the steering wheel? That little carbon feeling on the dashboard? And how about those seats with the Mansion Sport? I want to hear from you right there in the comment section down there below. Don't forget also to check the description because we put a playlist for you with all the video about this car. Do a thumbs up also if you like our video and feel free to subscribe right here in the corner because we will have more video for you. See you another time on another video of Car Question.